Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Monday 17th of October 2016 and we're looking at the images in the uh, NASA stereo archive, looking at the stereo behind Core 2 images for February 2007 and we're going to look at this object which passes over in front of the Sun as seen in the videos by Nibiru Planet X 2016. So let's um, run the animation and uh, look at the direction that this object is taking. It's coming in from the lower right hand side. It's uh, curving around and then coming back heading towards the sun. So now it's crossing the solar disk. It's behind the occulter and we see it emerging out the other side. Let's take another look at that as it loops back around and uh, next we will look at a simulation from the NASA EYES program from the point of view of the stereo behind spacecraft. So there it goes again and now it is emerging out the other side of the occulter disk and heading back in the opposite direction. So next we're going to use the NASA EYES, EYES on the Solar System Simulator which anyone can download free. You can download the app here. Eyes on the Solar System lets you explore the planets, their moons, asteroids, comets and the spacecraft, exploring them from 1950 to 2050. Using real trajectory data, you can recreate famous moments in solar system exploration or preview exciting adventures yet to come. We've got the time set to February 20th, 2007 universal time and as you can see our target that we're looking from is stereo behind and again over here you can see it says stereo behind we've got the date set to February 20th 2007 we're looking towards the Sun here we can see the earth is here and we can see that the moon is over here and you can see its orbit line around the earth so you can see that in relation to the Sun, the Moon is at around about a 4.30 position on the clock dial. And we're going to run this forward to the 25th, 26th of February and see what happens as we look towards the Sun as viewed from the stereo behind spacecraft. Now remember too that we have never said that the Moon is orbiting the Sun. Of course, the Moon orbits the Earth. It always has. So let's have a look at the view from the stereo behind spacecraft as we run time forward to the 25th and 26th of February 2007. So you can see that the moon is progressing along its orbit as it orbits around the Earth. It's coming up from the lower right hand side as we see it. It's now approaching a 6 o'clock position to the Sun. It is coming up higher and higher. We are now up to February 22nd, 2007. And we can see that the Moon is about at its extent on its orbit. It's just coming up now. As it does so, the Moon progresses further up towards the Sun. It is now February 24th. And now we can see that the Moon is actually approaching the Sun's disk as seen from the stereo behind spacecraft. And we can now see that, this, that the Moon is transiting the solar disk. So from the viewpoint of the stereo behind spacecraft, the Moon is in front of the Sun. Now the Moon is still orbiting the Earth of course, but from our vantage point from stereo behind it appears to be in front of the Sun. Let's zoom in on that. So there is the Moon and there is the Sun. And let's just progress that on again. And we will watch the Moon exiting the disk of the Sun as seen from the stereo behind the spacecraft. And there it goes. There is the Moon emerging exactly as we saw on the stereo behind Core 2 images. This was when um, stereo behind was uh, launched, not long after it was launched, and it was still on its way out into its orbit around the Sun. 
We have never said that the moon orbits the sun. This is a misunderstanding by Nibiru Planet X 2016 and all he needs to do is to go back to the videos and information that we have sent him and he will see that we have always maintained that this is the moon visible in the stereo behind images as seen from the stereo behind spacecraft. And as if we need any more proof whatsoever, all we need to do is go to Google and type in moon and stereo behind 2007. We will get a number of results with all of the details. Let's take a look at some of these results. For example, this one here. Stereo Eclipse. The article is dated March 12, 2007, and it states on February 25, 2007, NASA scientists were calibrating some cameras aboard the Stereo B, Stereo Behind spacecraft, and they pointed the instruments at the Sun. Here is what they saw. Wow. Is it Planet Enoch? Is it Nibiru? Is it Planet X? No, it is not. It clearly says here that the black disk is the moon. It says here, we caught a lunar transit of the sun, she explains. And you can scroll down, I'll provide the links in the description area. There are a number of links and animations underneath this article. But wait, there's more. Let's go back to our main search for moon and stereo behind 2007. And let's look at this link. And this is from the Stereo website again at NASA. You can see the images of this object. This is a composite image, obviously, with uh, three Im images. What does it say? Solar Eclipse Stereo Style, February 25th, 2007. And the text reads, There was a transit of the moon across the face of the sun, but it could not be seen from the Earth. The site was visible only from the Stereo B spacecraft in its orbit around the Sun, trailing behind the Earth. NASA's Stereo mission consists of two spacecraft launched on October 2006 to study solar storms. The transit starts at 1.56 a.m. EST and continued for 12 hours until 1.57 p.m. EST. Stereo behind is currently about 1 million miles from the Earth, 4.4 times farther away from the moon than we are on Earth. As a result, the moon will appear 4.4 times smaller than what we are used to. This is still, however, much larger than, say, the planet Venus appeared when it transited the Sun, as seen from Earth in 2004. This alignment of Stereo B and the moon is not just due to luck. It was arranged with a small tweak to Stereo Behind's orbit last December. The transit is quite useful to stereo scientists for measuring the focus and the amount of scattered light in the stereo images for determining the pointing of the stereo chronographs. And you can see that there are links there that you can download the various uh, movies of this event from 25th of February 2007, which is exactly the same date that we see in the stereo archive images with the stereo behind Core 2 images. Now, before anyone starts protesting that the NASA Eyes on the Solar System Simulator is by NASA, well, you can't pick and choose, you can't cherry pick, because so are these very same images from Stereo Behind. They are provided by NASA, and yet they are used in the videos by all of the fear mongers, hoaxers and liars, to try and prove that there is some rogue object or brown dwarf passing through our solar system. This is not Planet Enoch, as claimed in the video by Nibiru Planet X 2016. It is not Nibiru. It is not Planet X. It is, indeed, the Moon. Scott from Nibiru Planet X 2016, Nibiru News, would clearly have us believe, with his re-upload of this video, that this is, indeed, Planet Enoch, as he claims in his video, Nibiru Planet X, Planet Enoch Returns. This is clearly not the case, and at some stage the light must go on in Scott's head and realise that this is just a lie and he is spreading disinformation. And hopefully he will come to his senses, remove the video, and quit with the fear-mongering. Scott, Astronomy Live and I have tried to be a gentleman with you and tried to explain to you exactly what we were seeing in your video. 
However, you have turned on us, you have uploaded videos, and you have lied about us and made false accusations. At some stage, I hope that you will turn around and apologize and retract your false accusations. I'm a reasonable person and I'm always willing to forgive. But you must meet me halfway. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.